Hey guys on YouTube, this is my little tutorial kind of editing thing that kind of goes over how to set a game that is natively Uplay, as in you accidentally bought it on Uplay because you forgot how awesome Steam was, but now you're regretting it because you missed the features that Steam provides. So I'm going to teach you a way around this, a way to get through it and make it so that that you play game that you want your steam menu overlay on you can now have your steam menu overlay so what you're gonna wanna do just to start out is go to steam go to your library I'm just gonna delete this for the sake of our tutorial so I can do it from scratch alright so from here you're gonna wanna add a game you're gonna wanna add a non steam game I want to scroll through this list, let it all load up real quick. I have a lot of fucking programs to load up, so... Right, you're going to want to pick Uplay out of this list. Hit that checkbox, add selected programs. Now, if you look, you will have Uplay at the very bottom of your My Games. I started categorizing them very recently. Just Arma Games, that's all it says. <laughs> Alright, so from here, you're going to want to kind of minimize this for now. Now maneuver to the you know shortcut icon of the you play game you want to do. So for me, I'm doing Far Cry 4. So you're gonna want to hit right click, properties. Now that you have right clicked properties, right click copy or Control C. It's completely up to you. Now that we have that copied, we're gonna go back to Steam. We're gonna right click properties gonna go to the target box. Do not modify the start in box. Hit space once, hit control V or right click uh, or you can right click paste. And now you will have the uh, the target for um, the launch icon in your Uplay menu. Right? Now since I'm doing Far Cry 4 I'm gonna name it Far Cry 4. If the game has a registered symbol, like Assassin's Creed 3 here does, and you want to get that in here just for the sake of, you know, accuracy, then there's a website you should visit. If you pop up here, there's a trademark symbols website, fsymbols.com slash computer slash trademark. I'm going to copy that in so that we'll have that. Oh, wait, no. Hold up. I just remembered something. Okay, if you now... These are the symbols. There's that one, SMTM, there's registered, copyright, or whatever the heck that is. I'm honestly not sure. We want to copy the registered trademark. It is now copied to our clipboard just by clicking that. That's all you need to do. Now we're going to move all the way over. Nope, that's NVIDIA. All right, here we go. Going to move all the way over to Uplay Properties. Going to Control V or paste, however you want to do that, and close out to save it, because sometimes when moving into uh, choosing an icon, it'll delete everything you've done. So I just like to close out before I choose an icon. Gonna choose an icon, you know, just for the sake of accuracy once again. I don't currently have the uh, icon for, you know, the actual cool looking for icon. But what I do is I have an image file on my desktop. I go C. By the way, C is just my standard drive. That's what C stands for. Got to go to users. It's on my desktop. So Spencer desktop. Got to scroll down till we see Far Cry 4 dock icon by Outlaw Ninja. You can find that on, of all places, I think it is uh, DeviantArt. You can find this particular icon on DeviantArt if you really want. It's it's him sitting on a throne and it says Far Cry 4. It's really, really small so you can barely see it. So I'm, that's kind of why I want to change it to a different one. So from there you hit close out. It is now up there. It says Far Cry 4. And it's pretty much ready to rock. Now if we hit play, let it load up. Okay, I have two screens, so sometimes it likes to appear in the second screen for random reasons. It's now loading up. It, The target that we put in it allows it to load straight to Far Cry 4. Let it load to Far Cry 4. Let Far Cry 4 load up for a bit. 
why am I repeating the same thing over and over again? All right. You know, standard, you know, press Shift F2 to access Uplay. But there we go. Access the Steam community while playing. Press Shift Tab to begin. This will allow it so that you don't need to, you know, move everything back in. I want to check something out with uh, you, you play real quick. You play. they have a broadcast, achievements, actions, rewards. They allow you to, you know, choose everything for that. But what they don't allow you to do is have music, have an in-game web browser, and, you know, you can visit the Steam Workshop. It's not really, you can't really do anything. But, yeah, the guides won't be available because, well, you're on a, a quote-unquote non-Steam game, and it loads immediately up to this awesome GIF. I'm just going to show you this GIF. Yep, this describes Skyrim so much. If you want to get to the guides, you just go here, all guides, then you go searching, find hubs, if we go Far Cry 4. four. Find the you know the PC patch 1.5 refund. Oh what? Um, can't play this game. I want my money back. Um, I don't think he realizes no refunds means no refunds. Go go to the discussions, the screenshots, the artwork, the broadcasts, which I'm gonna get to that in a second. Videos, announcements, guides, reviews, guides. You can get to the gear guides from here. You can get to the community hub screenshots. You can also, if you have, you know, the, the Steam beta, you can also access broadcasting. So, you know, you can right-click on everything. It, it basically allows you to go to any friend in your list. I'm just going to use him as an example. If I right-click on him, I can hit Invite to Watch. But if I'm out of the game, I can also say Watch His Game. So... That's my tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.